Yellow float, red float. Yellow teeth, white teeth. Yellow skin, natural skin. Basic photo, cinematic photo. All with selective color in Photoshop. On the selective color panel, there are nine color options. RGB group, red, green, blue. The basic colors of light. CMY group, cyan, magenta, yellow. The basic colors of printing. Plus black, white, and gray. Three neutral tones. When you pick any color, you get four sliders. Cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Dragging left or right simply means adding or subtracting color. In principle, when colors overlap, they create new ones. Red, green, and blue combined. White, cyan, magenta, and yellow combined. Black. This makes it easier to visualize how colors mix together. Think of it like mixing paint. Add magenta to yellow, it becomes red. Add cyan to yellow, it shifts to green. This add-subtract logic is very straightforward. Once you master it, you can control any color in your photo with precision. Example 1. Change object color. Let's say we have a yellow float. I want to make it red. Select yellow. Drag the magenta slider to the right. The yellow float instantly turns red, naturally, without cutting or painting. You may ask, where are red, green, and blue? Photoshop uses complementary colors. Blue to yellow, green to magenta, red to cyan. Two opposite colors cancel each other out into gray. So, if you want to add blue, simply reduce yellow. On the sliders, the right side shows cyan, magenta, yellow. The left side is red, green, blue. Every time you drag left, you are adding RGB to the photo. To understand better, focus on the gray areas in the image. By selecting gray in selective color and moving the sliders, the changes become very clear. Example 2. Whiten teeth. Selective color can also reduce harsh tones. For example, yellowish teeth. Select yellow. Reduce yellow. Maybe add a touch of cyan. The yellow fades away, leaving teeth white and natural with details preserved. Example 3. Fix yellow skin tint. Selective color is great for correcting skin. For example, the neck area looks too yellow under warm light. Use color range to select only the yellow parts. Select yellow in selective color. Reduce yellow slightly. Now the skin tone looks natural and even with the face. A very useful trick in portrait editing. Example 4. Create warm and cool mood. Want a cinematic look? Try this. Select white to adjust highlights. Reduce cyan, add yellow. Highlights turn warm. Select black to adjust shadows. Add cyan, reduce yellow. Shadows turn cool. Now the image has warm lights and cool shadows. It feels deeper, more cinematic, perfect for portraits or landscapes. In the end, selective color is not hard. Think of it like mixing colors. Once you master it, your photos will look exactly the way you want. Natural, balanced, and full of emotion. Thank you for watching until the end. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep bringing you more Photoshop tips and tutorials.